I'm here with Courtney Kerr. We couldn't be more excited to all the girls in the studio are just like head to toe, <laughs> devouring what you're wearing. Talk to me about sort of like how you got your start. So my blog started as kind of a love letter to the fans of Most Eligible Dallas, which is the right. first show that I did on Bravo. And I didn't really expect when I was choosing what I was gonna wear for Most Eligible that girls were gonna go, oh my God, where'd you get this outfit? Where'd you get this outfit? Right. What outfit were you wearing in episode three and minute 12? You I'm know, everything girl. down to like- I'm the girl that needs to know and I get mad if people don't let me know and ID things on yes. their Instagram and that. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> exactly. So um, everything down to like nail polish, lipstick color, everything, things that I never expected. And so a friend of mine had started a blog and she said, start a blog because it's a great way to like just kind of put everything on there and let everybody know and you can monetize off of it and right. so the audience was kind of built in and I didn't really have to do much publicity and press surrounding the blog because the fans were already so interested. They so, already, you already had that fan base. Right and yeah. so it was really exciting and then when most eligible ended they were like what are you wearing now? What are you wearing to work? What are you wearing to, on a date? Like, so then I kind of was like, well, I guess I'm a blogger. <laughs> I guess I'm a blogger now. The and, accidental blogger. Right. Yeah. And so now the blog is, you know, my main source of income and is my full-time job. And it's, it's been really exciting because I've gotten to kind of work with some brands and do some collaborations on the site. And yeah. really, I think it's fun to have kind of an online portfolio to see how your style evolves. So let's talk about sort of how you've turned it into a career, basically. You're traveling all the time as a blogger. I mean, yeah. you go to a place to photograph outfits, right. basically. Right. Favorite place you've been. I mean, New York Fashion Week, there's really nothing that compares yeah. to that. Um, just the energy is so amazing and so intense, and just to be surrounded by that much talent in this industry that I'm so obsessed with, um, there's really no better place to, I think, garner inspiration for what I'm gonna put on my body or what my next purchases are gonna be. So Fashion Week is always really exciting. And of course, all my friends go, Oh, Fashion Week, it must be so nice. Like, oh, you get to sit at all this shit. But I'm like, this is work. It's like, stressful. It's, a, it's, it's exhausting sitting. Yeah. sitting. And it sounds like hashtag Courtney problems. But like, <laughs> it's exhausting sitting at fashion shows all day. Like, it really is tiring. And you feel on and you feel like you're having to take notes and remember what you liked and what you didn't like. Yeah. Um, but it's the most rewarding work that I think I've, I've ever done. Um, another trip that's really memorable is I just got back from Cabo San Lucas. I was there with um, four other bloggers. <laughs> I was there with four other bloggers um, and bloggers that I really respect. And we were down there for a week. I was down there with um, Ami from Song of Style Love and her. Julia from uh, Galmeet's Glam and Rachel from uh, Pink Peonies and Wendy from Wendy's Lip Book. And so really amazing bloggers that to be included in the same company of them um, is just, it's an honor. Well, you said your blog, big hair, big personality, even bigger closet, which should be the biggest? I mean, <laughs> the higher the hair, the closer to heaven. Um, Texas. And the personality, Texas I mean, I don't think it can get bigger, but every year I, out, <laughs> I outdo myself with age. You know, the closet, I just recently converted a room to a closet. Every girl's dream. In my it's apartment. Carrie Bradshaw moment. <laughs> it was a little bit. Um, like there's Ikea racks and there's a shoe like a wall that's all like a, it looks like bookshelves but it has shoes does in it, it light up when the doors open it doesn't no i'm missing that <laughs> i actually have to go pull the cord on the lamp gosh i feel like i'm getting cheated now <laughs> what exactly. has been your sort of fashion nirvana moment either meeting a designer being at a certain show or just moment that you just thought was the high uh, probably high when rate. i got to interview sarah jessica parker um she came through dallas um, to promote her SJP shoe collection, which launched exclusively for Nordstrom. I got to sit down and interview her for 15 minutes, and I was given more time than, than anyone else, and so I had these very precise questions, and then through the interview, I just threw them up and was like, I'm just gonna talk to her like a friend, and it like was that very moment. Godmother. It, it, I mean, I'm not joking. I think that's still the picture today on my Instagram that got the most likes. Really? Yeah, and I just, I loved her. I, I wanted more time with her, and 15 minutes went like this, and she was so easy to talk to, and just so kind, and I just took so much away from her. I'm sure people ask you tips, though. If somebody does want to start, and they want to find their niche, and they want to find, what advice would you give them? You know, I would say do something that no that hasn't been done yet. Like, do your research and do your homework. Um, have a voice, I think. You have to have really beautiful photography, I think is the first thing. You have to make something that's visual for people, whether it's on Instagram or it's on Pinterest or it's on Twitter or it's on Facebook. People want to want to look at it and they want to lust over how beautiful your outfit looks. When are we going shopping? <laughs> I need to know. Yeah, go get your laptop and let's <laughs> do that's some exactly online how shopping. We're shop right here on our laptops. That's how it happens these days. I love it.